Welcome back. This is IGN Live at Comic Con 2022. The one in San Diego, not the New York one. Probably could have figured that out. Anyway, uh, we are keeping you up to date on what's happening in the Marvel Hall H panel, which is ongoing right now. We are getting crazy updates all the time. It's very exciting. And they wish, I wish they would live stream that so we could see all the cool stuff happening in there, but instead we've got people inside feeding us details. That's anyway. Right. They announced phase six. Phase six. Uh, you know, we're sort of like, phase four isn't going anywhere. And they're like, okay, here you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we saw, we saw the phase five timeline, which is pretty filled out with a lot of stuff that we're familiar with. And here's this big, just... Yeah. So yeah. phase six kicking off with Fantastic Four. They haven't announced casting or, or anything like that yet. And it, you know, it, it doesn't have a director. Uh, and... All of these are going to get filled in with logos. Now, how many of these things will be movies or Disney Plus shows? We don't truly know. But I feel like we're getting Doctor Doom on November, what is it, 8th, 6th, 2024. It's very far you away. You think it's here. that far away? I don't know. I, I think we're going to get Doom way sooner than that. Well, there, there were rumors least that he might pop up. Victor Von Doom. Ooh, yes, yeah. yes. I'm very into that. Um, so r right now inside Hall H, the Marvel panel is still happening, and Ryan Coogler is on stage talking about Wakanda Forever, which we found out today will be the end of Phase 4. He says, uh, what's up, Hall H? It's been five years since I was here. Five years ago, I sat right there. We premiered the first footage from Black Panther 1, and the late, great Chadwick Boseman was sitting with me, and the cast hadn't seen the footage yet, so when we played it, he was excited. He grabbed my shoulder with his hand and was just squeezing down on my shoulder. He got so excited, he squeezed so hard, and I couldn't even lift my arm. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> Uh, Chad is no longer with us physically, but his spirit, his passion, his genius, and his pride in his culture and the impact he made on this industry will be felt forever. We put that passion into this movie. It goes to places of Wakanda we haven't seen before, but also goes places new. I brought some incredible artists who help us tell that story up right now. So, yeah, it sounds like they bring, they bring the cast up and the new cast members and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is... This is, this is the end of phase four. So this is, they're going to end on a big note because I think a lot of people were sort of like, what's going on with this phase? Yeah. This will be a big one. And it's, it'll probably, this is where I think Doom's going to show up. That's my theory. I think they'll sneak him in there. But there was also like the Nomad rumor. So like, who is in this movie? <laughs> well, maybe we'll Na find out. Well, Namor, because Amelia just typed it. Oh, Namor, not Wait. Nomad. What am I talking about? Are we talking about Nomad? <laughs> no, no. Uh, Nimrod. <laughs> Nimrod. <laughs> Modoc. Nomad. So it looks like we have confirmation on Prince Namor. Who, okay. Who is a, a legend. Oh, cool. And yeah, right now I do believe we're looking at the performance that uh, opened up. Um, they had a musical performance uh, happening. I don't know if this is currently happening. This is real time. Yeah, this, this, uh, this just happened right before yeah. they, they brought the cast out. So Prince Namor is, uh, he's like the oldest Marvel character, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. He mm -hmm. predates Marvel Comics, him and the human, original Human Torch. And he, like uh, T'Challa, is a king. He, he's the king of Atlantis. So he's You called him Prince. Did I call him Prince? <laughs> Prince Namor. <laughs> All right. But he is Prince Namor. Namor. I, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Which one is it, Scott? <laughs> you're getting me back to the Bill Murray thing, right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get the heat off me somehow. <laughs> it feels like we're going to get the trailer for Wakanda Forever soon. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously keep watching with us because it'll, it'll, we'll, we'll, we'll drop it right here just like we did with the She-Hulk mm -hmm. trailer earlier. Um, and we can, all, we can all watch it together and have a good time. Yeah, right now, uh, one of the uh, actresses is, is speaking, Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, she talks about returning. It feels monumental to be back in Wakanda and uh, to invite you guys back. Uh, we get to see more. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. Hopefully we get to see more of Wakanda forever. Yep. I'm hoping that trailer drops. Um, of course, Letitia Wright. Uh, is returning, Denai Guerrero as well. Uh, and then we have some, some new cast members mm -hmm. um, who's, I, who I don't want to butcher any names, uh, but we do, we do have some, some new uh, cast members uh, that will be uh, joining uh, the sequel to Black Panther. Yep, and Namor will be played by Tenoch Huerta, who I believe was in uh, Narcos, which you yep. should also watch. You have a lot of homework today. Yeah. <laughs> Go watch some shows and movies. So Namor, I imagine, will be the villain because um, in the comics, you know, he is like, uh, uh, Atlantis essentially becomes a rival kingdom to Wakanda. And then he and Black Panther end up like hating each other. Both of them, and again in the comics, and this is actually in the story that leads up to Secret Wars, um, uh, they're both on the Illuminati in the, the proper main Marvel universe. And uh, the they, grow to, still they grow to hate each other. They go to hate each other. Like eventually, at one point, they're put in like a, a situation where they need to decide, do we destroy our universe or by letting it crash into another universe or let both just 
annihilate each other. And Black Panther's like, no, we can't do this. And Namor essentially goes behind his back and like makes it so our universe annihilates theirs. He's like, I make the decisions, you won't. <laughs> wow. wow. One of the defining things about Namor is that he's kind of a dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he's just... <laughs> he totally is, yeah. Yeah. Here he is, Rex. Um, and then, of course, you guys are talking about Doctor Doom, but, that, I mean, that's the third Marvel Universe king, right? I mean, Latveria. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a lot of royalty coming in. That I year. think we're going to have somebody... Have we had somebody in the MCU name drop, name check Latveria? Has that happened before? Not yet. It seems like... We're going to have that happen before we have anything else happen. I mean, it, it's one of those things you can just kind of acknowledge it. Like yeah. we had, um, I mean, Falcon and Winter Soldier had Madripoor. And right. it's like, yeah. okay, so Wolverine hangs out there sometimes. That right. means that exists. Yeah. And we had, I think we got a map of Wakanda back in like Iron Man 2 or something. Mm -hmm. and it took so long to get to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they got there. So yeah, the. Namor's uh, on stage right here. There he is. Awesome. He doesn't look anything like Namor. Namor wears, doesn't wear a shirt. He used to have like little, little Speedo on with wings yeah. on his feet. You get, you get kicked out of Comic-Con if you dress like Namor. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put clothes on. That's a, bit, that's a big part of it. One of the few Marvel Legends figures with just bare feet. Little yeah. Weird. No shoes, no, no shirt, Hulk. no Secret War. Yes. <laughs> But Namor has also been a long time coming. Like there were, he's had complicated rights issues, mm -hmm. um, and we um, at IGN we've interviewed Kevin Feige a few times where we've tried to get to the bottom of that. Like over the years, like can you guys use Namor or not? And obviously he got there somehow. Um, it's the same reason that the um, the Hulk so can't really get his own. This is Riri time. Williams, who's going to be Ironheart, and she's played by uh, Dominique Dominique Thorne. Dominique Thorne. Okay. Awesome. So that's exciting. Yeah. That's, we we yeah. know. Yeah, she's going to debut in Wakanda Forever, uh, and then we will meet her. She'll get her own series, the Ironheart series, later right. on. Yeah. And she sort of inherited the Iron Man mantle, is what her yeah. thing is, right? So, Essentially, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's like, you know, a whiz kid and an inventor and is super smart. Uh, and, you know, uh, Tony, Tony Stark built the first Iron Man suit out of scraps in a cave. She built it in her garage. Like, right. she's like, I, I, I can do that. And then she just like cobbles it together. And of course it like crashes like on her, like she brings it to school or something, you know, it's, it's, it's but uh, she, yeah, she's in, you know, a, uh, an incredible character that is gonna it'd be awesome to see them spin out into her own show for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she'll show up on Armor Wars as well, which we didn't hear anything about today, did we? No, we didn't. Not yet. She is an armored character. I would, I would totally it make sense. I, I can see her showing up in that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You need people in armor to participate in the armor wars. So it seems like they're really just kind of just tread water until they show the trailer. I mean, obviously, you know, they're, they're excited to be there. That's got to be, like, so cool to be, to be just, you know, completely locked down under heavy NDA and top secret stuff and then come out and be like, hey. The, I mean, some I, of the cast members are talking about, like, calling their mothers or their friends or girlfriends and being like, hey, I've I got to tell you about this movie I'm in. And um, being really excited that they get to tell more than those two people now. <laughs> they get to get up in front of an entire room and be like, hey, I'm in Wakanda forever. Yeah, this is right? Yeah. yeah. So that's, right now, I'm, oh, sorry. I was going to say, like, that's the place to do it. Like, doing it in Hall H where people are just excited. It's like, mm -hmm. I think, you know, putting an announcement out there on the internet, you're just going to get people being like, I don't know about this. But, like, that's people who are just, you know, hardcore fans, and they're just cheering. And it's, yeah, definitely. it's cool. You know, another thing about Namor, which maybe this is wishful thinking, but he's technically a mutant also. Yeah. So, you know, they, that could somehow connect to X-Men. I mean, I don't know, Joshua, you might be raising your eyebrow at me right now. No. Because you know better than I do. No, but, please but, go on. Um, <laughs> I mean, just he's, he's, I mean, he was in the X-Men at one point, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so. You know, he is a mutant, for sure. A lot of the time, he's like, look, I have my own business. Right. Charles Xavier, go, right. go run your school. Right. I have a whole kingdom to worry about. Right, yeah. Uh, but I, I could definitely see, you know, them taking another step towards X-Men by having, you know, confirming that somewhere in the movie. Right, yeah, totally. Yeah, they're all kind of talking about the impact that the first Black Panther had, obviously, for, for everybody. Yeah. Like, it was a cultural moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it changed everything. Yeah, and, totally. uh, yeah, so it's really interesting, interesting to see where they're going to go from here. Mm -hmm. um, there's some casting. So all the actors on the panel right now are, like, yeah, sharing stories and talking. Um, but Michaela Cole came out on the stage. She is an actress of note. She was in I May Destroy You, which is an incredible series. Uh, I don't think they said who she's gonna play yet. Um, so I'm very curious for them to hopefully eventually tell us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it wishful thinking that it'll be Storm? 
from the X-Men? I think it might be MODOK. <laughs> Damn it, Brian. <laughs> Still Murray MODOK. <laughs> well, Storm was married to T'Challa in the comics. Yeah. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Well, they were for one, at one point. At one point, yeah. 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 You know, the other thing is with Secret Invasion on its way, which deals with scrolls who can shapeshift, a lot of these characters could be announced as one player and actually be secretly a scroll, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, we, we don't, any, anything could happen at this point. Wakanda could be secretly invaded. Yeah, it could be, right? Yeah, no, that's the whole plot, is that over the years, they slowly replace people of influence and positions of power, superheroes, um, so. Right, like the original Spider-Woman, right? Well, she was, um, she was a member of the Avengers at the time. It turned out she, was she the scroll queen, yeah. actually? Yeah. Right, so. Or no, I don't think she was, wait, was she the queen? Baranka, or? Yeah. Unclear. I'm sure Unclear. someone in the chat a, could, could correct us. She was a scroll. <laughs> she was a scroll indeed. Yeah. But I mean, and all Wolverine too, I think, right? Or a, there was a Wolverine was Wol scroll. I don't remember if Wol Wolverine was. There was one who copied his powers and he had like the gnarly green skin and like yeah, right. big claws. Right, okay. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of these characters could turn out to actually not be who we think they are. Yeah, they're still introducing cast members on stage right now, talking to Namor. Um, yeah, this is gonna be, like we said, this is, the, this is the end of phase four. So this has to end with a bang, or at least a bunch of question marks that tee up the next now two phases that come after it. I mean, this is, like Black Panther was, was so huge and so important, and it's just like, just like, they've, they've got such huge like, shoes to fill with this. And it's, they obviously, I, I mean, I'm hoping that they've been taking their time and really making sure that this is like a story that's, you know, Lives up to the expectations, and I mean, clearly they're they're you know giving it sort of due hype right here, which is which is cool. Yeah, looks like they're going to the trailer now. Yeah. Oh, trailer that we don't have. We don't have. There. Uh, I hope they put it up. I That'd think be cool. I would expect we'll get it pretty yeah, soon. I think yeah, I think it'll be exciting to react to that right here on this stage. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we get that trailer. Yeah, they're playing the trailer and describing it right now. So, Max, if we want, we can, we can do a little read-along until we have something we could, yeah. uh, big to look at The here. most thrilling thing you could possibly get here at a Comic-Con is that someone in another room is watching the trailer and they're typing what's happening in the trailer and then we read that out loud to you. Should, should we do that? <laughs> After that, we will describe food to you. <laughs> well, Nakia standing on the beach looking sad into the ocean. There we go. <laughs> Shuri in all white surrounded by tribal dancers. The morning of T'Challa, oh Nakia God. gives birth. Namor glimpses. glimpses. <laughs> We're getting it. Oh, it's glimpses of Namor. I thought he glimpsed something. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're waiting. We're, we're waiting. We're waiting now. So we will get T'Challa's yeah. funeral. But that's where oh we're at. God. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. Wow. You know, I mean. Credit to Marvel for not recasting that role, mm -hmm. too, right? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, or I don't know, like just doing something ghoulish with the leftover footage. Right. You know, who right. would do such a thing? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. yeah. Like, what corporation would do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cap off a beloved series with just. Anyway. <laughs> and sh <sighs> okay, here's the trailer. Here oh, we go. Sure. Here we go. Okay. All right, so she's definitely. This, yeah, this is clearly very somber. Oh man, that's that's beautiful. Good friends we are. This is shot so well. Yeah, this is amazing. I long the way. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So, so this is, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk over this, but it's definitely like very, very somber. Yeah. And it also tells us basically nothing so far, which is fun. Clearly they're, okay, I can understand why they might involve Namor with all the water stuff happening. Stupid question, is, is Wakanda on the shore? 
Where, like, where is it located geographically? From what we saw, it was like landlocked. Yeah, that's what I. I don't think it would that's be. That's what I always uh, thought. Yeah. You know, they, they have the creative freedom to say, "Oh no, there's there's some more over here that leads to a body of water." Iron Hearts. Yeah. This looks like yeah. Avatar for a second, Max. Yeah. Just for I, a second, I saw that. Yeah. I just saw Namor's green swim trunks. Yeah, we did see his swim trunks. <laughs> oh man, this looks. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. This looks badass. Mm -hmm. Oh. So. Wait. Oh. Uh, what? There's definitely a oh, glimpse okay. of a new Damn. Black Panther suit. There's yep. a new Black Panther. Wow. Uh, man. Yo. Well, okay. That was it. Well, okay. Yeah. The, the cast is on stage hugging and crying. That's a, that's a wrap for the panel. Dude. Yeah. Damn. Wow. That wow. really hit me so hard. Yeah. yeah. You know, we mourned Chadwick Mo Boseman in real life, yep. and we were all kind of wondering how would they handle that in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I think the options were that you, well, they said they're not gonna recast, so I think you either say, you know, Black Panther's still out there somewhere, we're just not gonna follow his adventures anymore, or you say that the, the character passed away as well. It seems like they are going with that latter route, yeah. and to just have that, and what looks like a very beautiful, and I'll say tasteful, you know, uh, you know funeral, to send off that character. Yeah, wow, that's incredibly powerful. Yeah. That, that's a very bold decision for yeah. him to make. Yeah. Now we know the fate of T'Challa right. in the MCU. Absolutely. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and now what, what's, what I'm curious about, I, I'm wondering who that was in the Black Panther suit. Right. Like obviously we know Shuri has stepped up to, to play uh, in the role of Black Panther in the comics. So um, I'm assuming that's probably the route that they're gonna go. Mm -hmm. um, it would, honestly, it would make the most sense. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're gonna be doing a lot of speculating before November. On that note, we just got a monumental landslide of Marvel announcements, but there's still more Comic-Con on the way. In just a bit, Scott and ours are going to be talking to the cast of Strange New Worlds, Star Trek, that is. And then coming up next, Sir Patrick Stewart will be joining us on the balcony. More Comic-Con to come. Thanks for watching. Play, 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 play.